Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Came over here to Lamar to see if I could spot any of the whooping cranes. And I believe I've spotted one. What do you think? Whooping cranes like to come here to nest. Yeah, it's moving and it's huge. <laughs> I'm thinking that's a whooping crane. First, I couldn't tell if it was... That's two whooping cranes. Or is that a whooping crane with something else behind it? Sometimes I come over and they're right by the fence and look at the size of that thing. Looks like a whooping crane and a blue heron. From here, it looks like they're right next to each other, but probably not. <laughs> well, sometimes they're right by the fence and private property. Thank you for respecting the people and wildlife living here. And we're down on the street, we're okay. I'm really surprised there's not more uh, birders out here. See, and over at the pond there, there's what very well could be whooping cranes. But from this distance, I just can't tell. Very nice, peaceful day. Pretty good wind going says 16 miles an hour over here in Lamar and we're right by the water so that's not going to help wind is out of the north so once we get on the road yeah from this distance I can't tell if they're whooping cranes or egrets but they look big so I'm, I'm guessing whooping crane, but I'm only guessing at this point. I've been very fortunate where sometimes I come by here and they're literally 10 feet over the fence line here. Here comes a uh, golf cart passing us with two dogs on the passenger seat. <laughs> now dogs I can recognize. This is uh, one of the spots where the whooping cranes return to every year. And you, you can see them in other places. One of the most bizarre things I ever saw happen was I was at the South Jetty over on the island of Port Aransas, Mustang Island, and one flew right overhead. I can also see, see the ones that are slightly pink those are rosette spoonbills. And this is just a farmer's cow field. Pasture. Grazing land. And I think they chose this spot because of that little pond they got there. If you do an overhead view of this area on Google Maps, look at uh, 8th Street and... Lamar Beach Road, that is definitely a uh, whooping crane over there with a turkey vulture overhead. It's for sale, it says. But if you, uh, you look at an overhead, like a Google Earth shot, you will see um, just how extensive that little, it, it looks like a round pond from the road, but see it it's got some movement to it well at least the cows down ahead are over by the fence that'll be good to see that's some type of hawk i can't really tell what that is i didn't see the white mark okay these are whooping cranes up here guys oh boy oh boy oh boy boy oh boy are a little closer not real close but there's a whooping crane right 
there. Whoop, whoop. Now that one on the left, that could just be the angle, but the, the two on the right, the white ones, they're whooping creams. And they are huge. That one on the left is, it kind of looks like a rosette spoonbill, but not. They'll get pink depending on how much shrimp they eat, believe it or not. And they just could be. See, see the three on the right there? I don't know what they are, not from this distance. I don't know if they're just a different type of, of whooping crane. I don't know the difference between the males and the females, or are they um, great blue heron? I don't know. Okay, I'm thinking all three of the big ones there are whooping cranes now that the light is hitting the one. I don't know. I will have to do some uh, whooping crane research. But this is the time of year when they come. And they're absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Good to see. Thank you, whooping cranes. Love you guys. <laughs> there's an egret right there. And here's a rusty fence. And some cattle. Cattle are looking delicious. Good morning, ribeye. Good morning, Chuck. Cows never find my cow humor. I'm sorry, cattle. They never find me humorous. You guys know why cows have bells around their neck? Because their horns don't work. Because their horns don't work. <laughs> Dad joke. Cattle don't migrate. Well, they migrate from that field to my belly, but that's about it. And I'm really surprised there's not the uh, the bird watchers out here with four foot telephoto lenses <laughs> capturing the whooping crane for prosperity of their Facebook pages said the guy who just filmed them for the prosperity of his YouTube channel this is my kind of cow right here just oh there's a little murmuration going on here that's a good word murmuration I never heard that until uh, my friend Leah Phillips said it good morning Leah when they get up in the sky and all the birds go one way and they automatically know, like they all change directions at the same time and there's a thousand of them. I never knew what that was called. I never knew it was called anything. Well guys, cattle and whooping cranes, a little, little surf and turf action for you this morning. When I showed uh, Austin Street the other day, someone commented, uh, thanks for showing us more than the water. I like the water. I'm kind of a water guy. Rock port, port, water. <laughs> Just another gorgeous day over here in Lamar, guys. Why do I come to Lamar so much? Well, because Goose Island State Park is in Lamar. 
and Goose Island State Park has hot showers. And I like washing my butt in a hot shower. Don't you? <laughs> Let's take a, just take a little ride. I love this road, guys. It's Texas on the right, beach on the left. It's actually very chill. It was even more chill over here like the first time I saw it 20 years ago, and I'm sure for some of you people it was 60 years ago. And it, just like everything else, it has changed. Now, it was a cool night, and the sun's out. Let's see if we can catch any alligators getting warmed up up at this spot. There's a little swampy area here, and they seem to like to come up onto these people's lawn and nope none this morning none this morning but that's the spot right there where I've caught them oh well hey guys thanks for riding along today I appreciate you thanks for watching well I spoke too soon this is what happens when you drive and film there's at least three alligators right there out in the sunshine, getting warm. And look, look on the left. They even brought a snack with them for later. <laughs> I think that's an egret, could be a paper bag. These guys aren't very big, but you could lose some fingers. <laughs>